ice on a Saturday night. I want to get you guys' opinion on some things. You know, talking about peacefully protesting without by obeying the law. How can you do a protest peacefully? I mean, unless you just verbally are as polite about it. But how can you be polite about it when things are unjust and out of control, out of hand? Like, I don't agree with like damaging things and like ah, my shoulder. I don't agree like with like damaging things and killing people over and rioting and assaulting things or people and total mayhem. Like you can make a, a stance. You can make an impact without violence. Let the professionals, let the authorities handle it. I agree with Trump. If, if, if they're looters, then shoot them. If there's disruption, if there's... even if you're standing for what's right, that's not right to have to resort to violence because violence yields violence. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Violence really ain't the answer. I mean, you could defend yourself. It's okay to defend yourself. But to purposely harm things and physical things and living and non-living things, I don't agree with. I don't agree with damaging buildings and causing damaging amounts of money. Like, I don't agree with that. That's foolish. It's childish. I just don't agree with it. Even if you don't agree with something, you shouldn't have to damage people and police buildings leave the police alone they're doing their jobs they're there to control things they're there to protect humanity leave the police alone okay so he messed up so he did he broke the rules and did his job the wrong way and killed you know he should be charged with murder for what he did but who knows maybe in his mind he's like mentally crazy or was thinking something or anything's possible I don't know I'm not trying to defend him I'm just saying it's an isolated case it's singled out I mean I think people say what happens every day stuff like that does not happen every day I was buried in the sand for almost three minutes when I was a kid you didn't hear nothing that didn't make the news I couldn't move I was around, I was between four and six years old. They stuck me and my head in the sand and I couldn't breathe for almost damn near three minutes. I couldn't breathe. But did it make the news? No. Was I frightened? Fuck yeah, I was scared. I was bullied, man. I was thrown in the mud and my soccer ball, too, that same year, I think. And they threatened me. They were going to th throw books over me. You're talking about guys that are over six foot four. Here I am, like six, seven years old, being bullied by these people. Talk about being scared. Come on. A lot of other shit's happened to me, too. I've had about three close encounters with death. Death encounters. About three. Uh, you know. You didn't see that people st sticking up for me. You don't see people sticking up for me over the slander that's happened recently, and over all that false rumor and shit that's been going on. All that people defaming me and destroying my character and reputation, which isn't true. So, and here I am still. I'm still single, and I'm still doing what I do. I haven't done nothing wrong.
believe if you hurt as a president, if I ever was president, and if you hurt somebody, you're going to get hurt back. That's the way it should be. The United States is a beautiful nation. We're a beautiful country. I mean, we're, we're glorious. We're gorgeous. We're glorious. We're phenomenal. And we're beautiful. And the people should reflect that. And they should demonstrate to other countries that we're, you know, beautiful. Like, we should set, uh, you know... You know, now other countries are probably looking at us, like, laughing, like, like poor USA, like, what we're going through and what we're um, up against and all the shit going on in our c country. They're like, God, look at the United States. Like, they're like, man, we, like, the other countries are like, we, th we, th we thought the United States was the best in the world. Now, now look at them, you know, because we've really gone rapidly downhill pretty quick. It didn't take that much, you know. But um, I ain't got no snacks. Shit, battery's about to battery's about to give out. Oh my fucking! Ugh. Fuck it, fuck. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know. I haven't heard from Lomar. You know, I got other fans out there, you know, and shit. I'm, I, I don't know. <sighs> Man, you got a burp. That's dreadful. Our country calling on our country calling on our country's military to protect our country because our own people are against our country. That's fucked up. National Guard, Marines. Same thing happened in the um, riots in uh, Watts and the riots in Los Angeles in the early 90s when I was a kid, say 13 years old, 14, 1992. Shit, same shit. SSDD, same shit, different day. I'm highly pissed. What is it? What is it? Oh, I guess that's it I got for now. I just wanted to discuss a couple stuff. See what you guys reaction, how you react to it, because uh, I really don't really have much of a life outside of YouTube. I just stay in my bedroom all the time. I, I have no life, no friends, no one to hang out with. It's been like this practically my whole life. Don't feel sorry for me. I'll be okay later.